Welcome to Business English Learning. Let's learn business English that enables effective networking in a business setting. English phrases will be repeated three times. All right, let's get started. One, it's great to meet you here. Can you tell me more about what you do? It's great to meet you here. Can you tell me more about what you do? It's great to meet you here. Can you tell me more about what you do? Two, how long have you been working in this industry? How long have you been working in this industry? How long have you been working in this industry? Three, what inspired you to choose this career path? What inspired you to choose this career path? What inspired you to choose this career path? Four, could I get your business card? Could I get your business card? Could I get your business card? Five, what do you enjoy most about your job? What do you enjoy most about your job? What do you enjoy most about your job? Six, are there any recent trends in your field I should be aware of? Are there any recent trends in your field I should be aware of? Are there any recent trends in your field I should be aware of? Seven, I'd love to connect on LinkedIn. Do you use it? I'd love to connect on LinkedIn. Do you use it? I'd love to connect on LinkedIn. Do you use it? Eight, what challenges are you currently facing in your role? What challenges are you currently facing in your role? What challenges are you currently facing in your role? Nine, is there a project you're working on that you're excited about? Is there a project you're working on that you're excited about? Is there a project you're working on that you're excited about? 10. How can I help you with your current projects or goals? How can I help you with your current projects or goals? How can I help you with your current projects or goals? 11. What's the best way to stay updated with your work or industry? What's the best way to stay updated with your work or industry? What's the best way to stay updated with your work or industry? 12. Have you attended any interesting conferences or workshops lately? Have you attended any interesting conferences or workshops lately? Have you attended any interesting conferences or workshops lately? 13. What's the most valuable piece of advice you've received in your career? What's the most valuable piece of advice you've received in your career? What's the most valuable piece of advice you've received in your career? 14. Can you recommend any resources for someone looking to learn more about this industry? Can you recommend any resources for someone looking to learn more about this industry? Can you recommend any resources for someone looking to learn more about this industry? 15. How do you see the industry evolving over the next few years? How do you see the industry evolving over the next few years? How do you see the industry evolving over the next few years? 16. Do you know anyone else here that I should meet? Do you know anyone else here that I should meet? Do you know anyone else here that I should meet? 17. What has been your most rewarding project so far? What has been your most rewarding project so far? What has been your most rewarding project so far? 18. How do you balance work and personal life in such a demanding field? How do you balance work and personal life in such a demanding field? How do you balance work and personal life in such a demanding field? 19. What strategies have you found effective for leading a team? What strategies have you found effective for leading a team? What strategies have you found effective for leading a team? 20. Is there a book or article that has significantly influenced your professional philosophy? Is there a book or article that has significantly influenced your professional philosophy? Is there a book or article that has significantly influenced your professional philosophy? 21. What's your approach to overcoming obstacles in your work? What's your approach to overcoming obstacles in your work? What's your approach to overcoming obstacles in your work? 22. Could we schedule a follow up meeting to discuss this further? Could we schedule a follow up meeting to discuss this further? Could we schedule a follow up meeting to discuss this further? 23. What's been the highlight of your career so far? What's been the highlight of your career so far? 
What's been the highlight of your career so far? 24. How do you stay motivated in challenging situations? How do you stay motivated in challenging situations? How do you stay motivated in challenging situations? 25. What tools or software do you find indispensable for your work? What tools or software do you find indispensable for your work? What tools or software do you find indispensable for your work? 26. How do you prioritize tasks when everything seems urgent? How do you prioritize tasks when everything seems urgent? How do you prioritize tasks when everything seems urgent? 27. What's your strategy for effective time management? What's your strategy for effective time management? What's your strategy for effective time management? 28. Can you share an example of a recent success story? Can you share an example of a recent success story? Can you share an example of a recent success story? 29. How do you approach networking with professionals in your industry? How do you approach networking with professionals in your industry? How do you approach networking with professionals in your industry? 30. What are your long-term professional goals? What are your long-term professional goals? What are your long-term professional goals? 31. How have you adapted to changes in your industry? How have you adapted to changes in your industry? How have you adapted to changes in your industry? 32. What role do mentorship and coaching play in your career development? What role do mentorship and coaching play in your career development? What role do mentorship and coaching play in your career development? 33. What's the most impactful project you've worked on? What's the most impactful project you've worked on? What's the most impactful project you've worked on? 34. How do you approach risk taking in your career? How do you approach risk taking in your career? How do you approach risk taking in your career? 35. What skills do you think are essential for success in our industry today? What skills do you think are essential for success in our industry today? What skills do you think are essential for success in our industry today? 36. How do you measure success in your role or in your projects? How do you measure success in your role or in your projects? How do you measure success in your role or in your projects? 37. What's one thing you wish you had known when you started your career? What's one thing you wish you had known when you started your career? What's one thing you wish you had known when you started your career? 38. How do you stay informed about industry news and updates? How do you stay informed about industry news and updates? How do you stay informed about industry news and updates? 39. What advice would you give to someone just starting out in our industry? What advice would you give to someone just starting out in our industry? What advice would you give to someone just starting out in our industry? 40. How do you foster innovation and creativity in your work? How do you foster innovation and creativity in your work? How do you foster innovation and creativity in your work? 41. What strategies have you employed to build your professional network? What strategies have you employed to build your professional network? What strategies have you employed to build your professional network? 42. How do you approach conflict resolution within your team or with clients? How do you approach conflict resolution within your team or with clients? How do you approach conflict resolution within your team or with clients? 43. What has been your most effective method for gaining new business opportunities? What has been your most effective method for gaining new business opportunities? What has been your most effective method for gaining new business opportunities? 44. How do you ensure your skills and knowledge remain up to date in this rapidly changing industry? How do you ensure your skills and knowledge remain up to date in this rapidly changing industry? How do you ensure your skills and knowledge remain up to date in this rapidly changing industry? 45. Can you share an insight into how you manage work life balance in such a dynamic field? Can you share an insight into how you manage work life balance in such a dynamic field? Can you share an insight into how you manage work life balance in such a dynamic field? 46. 
What's your take on the importance of social media in professional networking today? What's your take on the importance of social media in professional networking today? What's your take on the importance of social media in professional networking today? 47. How do you prepare for important networking events or meetings? How do you prepare for important networking events or meetings? How do you prepare for important networking events or meetings? 48. What's one challenge you faced in your career that taught you a valuable lesson? What's one challenge you faced in your career that taught you a valuable lesson? What's one challenge you faced in your career that taught you a valuable lesson? 49. How do you leverage your professional associations or memberships for networking? How do you leverage your professional associations or memberships for networking? How do you leverage your professional associations or memberships for networking? 50. What role does continuous learning play in your professional development? What role does continuous learning play in your professional development? What role does continuous learning play in your professional development? 51. How have you utilized feedback to improve in your professional life? How have you utilized feedback to improve in your professional life? How have you utilized feedback to improve in your professional life? 52. Can you share a time when networking led to a significant opportunity for you? Can you share a time when networking led to a significant opportunity for you? Can you share a time when networking led to a significant opportunity for you? 53. What strategies do you use to maintain connections with your professional contacts? What strategies do you use to maintain connections with your professional contacts? What strategies do you use to maintain connections with your professional contacts? 54. How do you balance being authentic with being professional in networking situations? How do you balance being authentic with being professional in networking situations? How do you balance being authentic with being professional in networking situations? 55. What's your approach to developing a personal brand within your industry? What's your approach to developing a personal brand within your industry? What's your approach to developing a personal brand within your industry? 56. How do you evaluate the success of your networking efforts? How do you evaluate the success of your networking efforts? How do you evaluate the success of your networking efforts? 57. Can you share how mentorship has influenced your career path? Can you share how mentorship has influenced your career path? Can you share how mentorship has influenced your career path? 58. What advice do you have for effectively communicating with people from different professional backgrounds? What advice do you have for effectively communicating with people from different professional backgrounds? What advice do you have for effectively communicating with people from different professional backgrounds? 59. How do you stay resilient in the face of industry downturns or challenges? How do you stay resilient in the face of industry downturns or challenges? How do you stay resilient in the face of industry downturns or challenges? 60. What's been a key factor in building lasting professional relationships? What's been a key factor in building lasting professional relationships? What's been a key factor in building lasting professional relationships? 61. How do you navigate making connections in a virtual networking environment? How do you navigate making connections in a virtual networking environment? How do you navigate making connections in a virtual networking environment? 62. What techniques do you use to make a memorable impression when meeting someone new? What techniques do you use to make a memorable impression when meeting someone new? What techniques do you use to make a memorable impression when meeting someone new? 63. How do you approach sharing your achievements without coming across as boastful? How do you approach sharing your achievements without coming across as boastful? How do you approach sharing your achievements without coming across as boastful? 64. Can you share how you've benefited from being part of a professional community or group? Can you share how you've benefited from being part of a professional community or group? Can you share how you've benefited from being part of a professional community or group? 65. What's your strategy for staying engaged with your network during periods of heavy workload? 
What's your strategy for staying engaged with your network during periods of heavy workload? What's your strategy for staying engaged with your network during periods of heavy workload? 66. How do you decide whom to reach out to for networking within a specific industry or sector? How do you decide whom to reach out to for networking within a specific industry or sector? How do you decide whom to reach out to for networking within a specific industry or sector? 67. What's been a surprising source of professional connections for you? What's been a surprising source of professional connections for you? What's been a surprising source of professional connections for you? 68. How do you handle situations where a networking contact doesn't respond or shows little interest? How do you handle situations where a networking contact doesn't respond or shows little interest? How do you handle situations where a networking contact doesn't respond or shows little interest? 69. What are your tips for effectively utilizing professional networking sites? What are your tips for effectively utilizing professional networking sites? What are your tips for effectively utilizing professional networking sites? 70. How do you approach asking for advice or help from someone in your network? How do you approach asking for advice or help from someone in your network? How do you approach asking for advice or help from someone in your network? 71. What's your method for keeping track of contacts and interactions within your network? What's your method for keeping track of contacts and interactions within your network? What's your method for keeping track of contacts and interactions within your network? 72. How do you contribute back to your network or offer value to your connections? How do you contribute back to your network or offer value to your connections? How do you contribute back to your network or offer value to your connections? 73. What's your advice for someone looking to expand their professional network in a new industry? What's your advice for someone looking to expand their professional network in a new industry? What's your advice for someone looking to expand their professional network in a new industry? 74. How do you approach making connections at large conferences or industry events? How do you approach making connections at large conferences or industry events? How do you approach making connections at large conferences or industry events? 75. Can you share an example of how a casual conversation turned into a professional opportunity? Can you share an example of how a casual conversation turned into a professional opportunity? Can you share an example of how a casual conversation turned into a professional opportunity? 76. What role does cultural awareness play in your networking practices? What role does cultural awareness play in your networking practices? What role does cultural awareness play in your networking practices? 77. How do you ensure your networking efforts are mutually beneficial for both parties? How do you ensure your networking efforts are mutually beneficial for both parties? How do you ensure your networking efforts are mutually beneficial for both parties? 78. What's your approach to following up with new contacts after a networking event? What's your approach to following up with new contacts after a networking event? What's your approach to following up with new contacts after a networking event? 79. How have you integrated networking into your daily or weekly routine? How have you integrated networking into your daily or weekly routine? How have you integrated networking into your daily or weekly routine? 80. What's the most unconventional networking method you've tried that was surprisingly effective? What's the most unconventional networking method you've tried that was surprisingly effective? What's the most unconventional networking method you've tried that was surprisingly effective? 81. How do you approach setting goals for networking, and how do you track your progress? How do you approach setting goals for networking, and how do you track your progress? How do you approach setting goals for networking, and how do you track your progress? 82. Can you share strategies for overcoming shyness or introversion in networking settings? Can you share strategies for overcoming shyness or introversion in networking settings? Can you share strategies for overcoming shyness or introversion in networking settings? 83. What's your advice on making the most of networking opportunities within small communities? What's your advice on making the most of networking opportunities within small communities? 
What's your advice on making the most of networking opportunities within small communities? 84. How do you differentiate your follow-up approach after meeting someone in person versus online? How do you differentiate your follow-up approach after meeting someone in person versus online? How do you differentiate your follow-up approach after meeting someone in person versus online? 85. What has been your experience with cross-industry networking, and what benefits have you seen? What has been your experience with cross-industry networking, and what benefits have you seen? What has been your experience with cross-industry networking, and what benefits have you seen? 86. How do you manage and nurture your professional relationships over long distances? How do you manage and nurture your professional relationships over long distances? How do you manage and nurture your professional relationships over long distances? 87. What's your strategy for engaging with thought leaders or influencers within your industry? What's your strategy for engaging with thought leaders or influencers within your industry? What's your strategy for engaging with thought leaders or influencers within your industry? 88. How do you balance the quantity of connections with the quality of those relationships? How do you balance the quantity of connections with the quality of those relationships? How do you balance the quantity of connections with the quality of those relationships? 89. Can you share an example of how giving back to your network helped advance your career? Can you share an example of how giving back to your network helped advance your career? Can you share an example of how giving back to your network helped advance your career? 90. What's your perspective on the role of serendipity in professional networking? What's your perspective on the role of serendipity in professional networking? What's your perspective on the role of serendipity in professional networking? 91. How do you leverage social media platforms for networking without getting overwhelmed? How do you leverage social media platforms for networking without getting overwhelmed? How do you leverage social media platforms for networking without getting overwhelmed? 92. What techniques do you find effective for starting conversations with strangers at events? What techniques do you find effective for starting conversations with strangers at events? What techniques do you find effective for starting conversations with strangers at events? 93. How do you tailor your networking approach to different cultural or professional contexts? How do you tailor your networking approach to different cultural or professional contexts? How do you tailor your networking approach to different cultural or professional contexts? 94. What's your method for converting online networking contacts into meaningful professional relationships? What's your method for converting online networking contacts into meaningful professional relationships? What's your method for converting online networking contacts into meaningful professional relationships? 95. Can you share your experience with mentorship networks and how they have impacted your career? Can you share your experience with mentorship networks and how they have impacted your career? Can you share your experience with mentorship networks and how they have impacted your career? 96. What's been your most memorable networking fail, and what did you learn from it? What's been your most memorable networking fail, and what did you learn from it? What's been your most memorable networking fail, and what did you learn from it? 97. How do you approach networking with people who are significantly more experienced or senior? How do you approach networking with people who are significantly more experienced or senior? How do you approach networking with people who are significantly more experienced or senior? 98. What strategies do you use to keep a conversation going and make it engaging for both parties? What strategies do you use to keep a conversation going and make it engaging for both parties? What strategies do you use to keep a conversation going and make it engaging for both parties? 99. How do you deal with rejection or lack of interest when trying to network? How do you deal with rejection or lack of interest when trying to network? How do you deal with rejection or lack of interest when trying to network? 100. What's your take on the effectiveness of cold emailing or messaging for networking purposes? What's your take on the effectiveness of cold emailing or messaging for networking purposes? What's your take on the effectiveness of cold emailing or messaging for networking purposes?